key thing about landscape architecture for us is actually the idea of connecting people with nature. I think one of the things that's unusual about the work we do is that we're operating from the smallest, tightest, most intense urban environments all the way through to the largest, wildest landscapes in the world. We are very aware of our responsibility to a sustainable future and we want to be at the leading edge of sustainable design and best practice. I think in all our work there is a, a common theme of trying to find this balance between and connection between the natural and technological worlds and we try and apply that level of thinking and thought right from large-scale environmental planning work all the way through to more site-specific designs and right down to the smallest of little details. We try to have some very specific creative ideas for that project but we also align those with what are the environmental issues that we need to deal with on that project. What I'm interested in doing is ensuring that that design process is refined and managed so that the excitement and vitality and life of that initial idea is taken right the way through to the final construction. The approach on Gardens by the Bay was all about 